We are honored to uh, once again be joined by Dr. Ali Hushman, who is president of Rowan University. Good to see you, doctor. Good to see you as well, Steve. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. We're taping on the 2nd of February. You can still say that. It'll be seen later. And, and to disclose, Rowan is one of our higher ed partners. Doctor, let me ask you, as we tape today on the 2nd, it'll be seen later, as I said, Rowan is very involved in uh, the vaccine distribution, yes. the COVID mm -hmm. vaccine distribution. What has been your experience to date? And why is it that a university is so actively involved in that plan? Well, uh to begin with, we have the infrastructure and the personnel. You obviously need individuals who are uh, qualified to take care of the patients, the, the people who come in for not only registration into the electronic data system, but also you know, giving the vaccination and, and watching them for 15 minutes after the vaccination to make sure everything is okay. You just cannot put any random person in there. We have two medical schools between them. We have well over 1,200 students in these two medical schools. And even if you get 10% of them volunteer, you're talking about 120 individuals who are plenty capable to help. And that's really what the country needs today. The problem that we have, and you see, you hear it every day throughout the, the, the nation, is that you know the most advanced country, the most strategically capable country with resources cannot get the handle of this thing. And the reason is because of the, 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 the failure of the logistics. The pieces are there, they're just not interconnected. And I think one thing that we have done here at Rowan is we have connected them and we have been very successful really. We are doing a great service. People are coming in, getting their vaccinations and uh, going home and, and we are very happy. That's really what we need to do for everybody. But I'm going to follow up on this because we spoke to Dr. Thomas Cavalieri, who uh, was with us and was a great interview. Check out our website, steveoutabouter.org. You can see that. But I'm going to ask Dr. Hushman this because he also joined us on our sister program, Lessons in Leadership. And he, he and I talk leadership a lot. So I got to ask you, doctor, forget about the clinical aspect of this. As a student and practitioner of leadership and logistics, how frustrating is this for you and you and I just were joking before we got on the air. We're not very patient people. How frustrating has this been for you? It's been hugely frustrating because the fact of the matter is, Steve, we can do a lot better than that. We really can. For example, the moment that the vaccination has started, and I went and visited one of these mega sites over at the Rowan College of South Jersey, and I looked at and counted the number of parking spots, the distance that they had to walk from parking spot into the place where they get registration, from there where they walk into a place where they have to get the injection, uh, and then, you know, sitting somewhere for, to rest for 15 minutes. I found that the system is not put together in a scientific way, so that they would very quickly we would create bottleneck. You know, it's, this is winter. You do not want, the last thing you would want is people are staying outside in the cold or right. you'd be forced to put them inside in a congested area with not enough airflow and get them infected. So that logistical system is really easy. In fact, that's what the immediately I did. I went to our virtual reality system uh, lab, you have been there, and we yes. did actually a simulation of that thing. It's a fascinating, I wish I, I'm yes. going to send you actually, I'm going to send you a clip of it. You're going to be fascinated by seeing the human being walking in here, each of them color coded, whether somebody is infected or not infected, how they get injected, how they get, you know, registration, everything is done. And you can very quickly see the bottleneck is being created. And then we tell people, if you change certain parameters, for example, increase the number of registration or shorten the distance from parking to the registration, all of this, suddenly the this, this system works better. So we have put this thing together, made it available. We would like to make it available to the rest of the state and the country in there. And this is, an, this is a fascinating simulation model. It applies to any system and people can use it. And that's really what I did. I said, what is the opportunity? What can I do as a person who understands operations, research, and logistics? How do I help? Immediately went to that solution. And I think there are thousands of in individuals and universities in, country, in this country who can do likewise. This is not the rocket science. This is not a difficult problem, but it's one that really we need to do right now. Because the sooner we get people 80% of or so of people in, uh, injected and right. immunity, the sooner we can get back to some sort of normal. 
So, you know, by the way, and I've been to the laboratory that <clears throat> Dr. Hushman talks about, the simulation's extraordinary about a whole range of things. So this has been said to me many times, Doctor, and it's not about blaming, it's not about pointing fingers, but here's the thing. Steve, you don't understand, quote, it's complicated. Now, I'm sure it is, but Dr. Hushman, do you believe it's as complicated? You just said it's not rocket scientist. Okay, let's assume, let's assume there was way more vaccine that's being de developed as we speak right now on February 2nd. That doesn't solve the problem by itself because logistics details matter. Go ahead, doctor. I don't think it is that complicated. The, the, the order that the uh, President Biden issued today using uh, pharmacies Yes. to do vaccination is a wonderful thing. All we need to use every resources. One of the resources are, there are 4,000 universities in here. Use every single one of them. They have nursing programs. They have allied health program. Chances are they've got medical school programs. <clears throat> every, and, and they have other experts in sciences who really can be quickly trained or they probably are trained. And they have the infrastructure, they have parking, they have big facilities. Use these places and the key to it, of course, have enough vaccination, vaccines. But that's what we need to do because relying on mega or big center, these are not gonna cut it. There are people who are gonna have a very, very hard time to get a cab or to have a car to drive yeah. to one of these centers. We need to find every which way we can to reach to as many people as possible as soon as possible. And it's not really that complicated. Leadership and logistics. You just got a taste of what Dr. Hushman is talking about. I'm gonna to talk to him more on our lessons in leadership program as well. But for this edition, I wanna thank you, Dr. <clears throat> excuse me, and all of your colleagues down at Rowan for everything you're doing every day. And let's just agree that when it comes to people like you, like me, patience is not our greatest virtue. <laughs> no, it's not. Thank you, Dr. Hushman. I'm Steve Adubato. That's Ali Hushman from Rowan. But thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation. Funding has been provided by RWJ Barnabas Health, New Jersey Sharing Network, the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, NJM Insurance Group, the Northward Center, Delta Dental of New Jersey, Investors Bank, NJ Best, and by Fedway Associates Inc. Promotional support provided by bestofnj.com, and by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. NJM Insurance Company has been serving New Jersey policyholders for more than 100 years. But just who are NJM's policyholders? They're the men and women who teach our children, the public sector employees who maintain our infrastructure, the workers who craft our manufactured goods, and New Jersey's next generation of leaders the people who make our state a great place to call home. NJM, we've got New Jersey 